do want to fight right now. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet one of the most dangerous men in the world. Our next guest helped evacuate nearly 10,000 people from Afghanistan during the chaotic withdrawal. I've been a Green Beret for 16 years. I'm a Master Sergeant in Special Forces. I was an 18 Bravo, which is a Special Forces Weapons Sergeant, a Special Forces Sniper. He's an exceptional human being, and that's the only type of human being that survives what he survived. What's your prediction? How am I gonna do? <sighs> I think you're gonna die. Well, here we go, off on another wild adventure. Got a call from Heavy D, he said, we gotta go to Arizona. So we're gonna fly down to Vegas, meet up with Keaton, who's in his helicopter, and fly to Havasu to hang out with the Pavati boys. I don't know exactly what we're doing down there, but I know we gotta go, and then I know we gotta wake up the next morning and fly to Temecula, California, to go to an event at our friend Dan Fleischman's house. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a wild weekend, so do what my friend Heavy D would say to do, and buckle up, because you're in for a wild ride. All right, my friends, we just touched down in beautiful Lake Havasu City, Arizona. All the wildest boats in the area, kind of in the country, come here to just show off. Uh, they do a poker run, they do a parade, and they just do an overall giant event and a party. So we came down to give you guys a bird's eye view we're gonna be on a Pavati, obviously, that's my boat of choice. Uh, Pavati's got a couple of boats down here, kind of a big event weekend for them. So we're gonna go cruising through the channel. Some of these boats down here, guys, do 150, or close to 200 miles an hour. There's turbine powered boats. There's just a bunch of really monster machines down here. Really, it's just a nice excuse for us to come down and get out of the, uh, out of the weather in Salt Lake. And we have an event in California tomorrow, so perfect little pit stop and a great little opportunity to show you some wild stuff. today's video is ButcherBox. I'm gonna tell you to click the link in my description below right now and place an order because they've got an offer running now for a really limited time, but if you sign up, you're gonna get free ground beef for a year. Yeah, two pounds of ground beef in every single box each month. So click the link in my description below and now listen why this is a good deal. Grilling season is upon us. What I don't love about grilling is going to the store and having to pick through, hoping I find something. It's just kind of annoying. ButcherBox has created this program where they go all over the country sourcing high quality meat from farmers and fishermen that meet literally the, like the highest quality standards possible. Every box you get is the same as the last. If you liked it and you ordered it again, it's gonna be the same stuff and it's gonna be delicious. So they have a program where you can get monthly boxes of meat shipped right to your doorstep. Go on their website and you pick either a custom box where you choose all the different cuts or you pick a curated box where they choose for you. I've got some steak, right? It comes in this refrigerated box, it's fully recyclable. The reason why Butcher Box is gonna be important to you, there's five main reasons, ready for this? Number one, the price. It's some of the best pricing around and for the quality of meat you're getting, it's pretty much hard to touch. Number two is the time savings. You don't have to go to the grocery store because you know if you're gonna go to the store, you're gonna end up getting a bunch of other little things that you didn't need. Reason number three, Butcher Box delivers the highest quality cuts of meat through very thoughtful sourcing. Number four is you can sign up to be a member. Becoming a member gets you all sorts of benefits, discounts, exclusive offers. You can go sign up for a monthly subscription, which is where you're gonna save a lot of time, a lot of money. Reason number five is just peace of mind. It's knowing that you've got this box in your freezer or at your house or whatever you need it for, it's just there. It's ready to go and I know that I'm gonna cook it up and it's gonna be the highest quality meat that my friends and family have ever had. So with that said, let's grill. Out of 
kicking around. Well guys, hopefully this beautiful steak has you convinced this is a really good deal. So now all you gotta do is click the link in my description below, go to the ButcherBox website, place an order, and just remember that all new customers are getting free ground beef for a year. That's two pounds in every single box each month. That's a big deal. Plus, if you enter your email address at checkout, you're gonna get free shipping. So it really is a no-brainer for some of the very best meat you can get. Don't just take my word for it. Try it out. Click the link in my description below, and thank you, ButcherBox, for sponsoring this video and many others. You've been a phenomenal partner, and we're looking forward to enjoying more of your meat. It has a fireplace. They all have fireplaces. A shack carpet. It's got a sofa. <laughs> it's got a table. This is about to become a bed, I think. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bro, look at this. Bro, this is not allowed within a thousand feet of a school. <laughs> this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh man. Those yeah. are uh, power windows. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Power wind. This is, what is a cruise at? Like 25, 30? Uh, 30 it's so comfortable in here. This is great. Sunroof. You could lay on the floor. Oh, this thing's cool. awesome, dude. We, we were looking and we yeah. found. We found the coolest boat on the lake. You gotta see this thing from the outside. I don't, hopefully you got a good image of it because it is so weird looking. Hey, take a handful, come stick it on his nose, act like it's eating something. <laughs> I'm saving this as your contact photo on my phone. Alright man, you just tell me when we gotta start running. Cause I'm pushing Tim down and then I'm getting out of here. <laughs> About the same. <laughs> Now I pet his nose. <laughs> Don't, I'll, can I feed him with my hands? Yeah, yeah. He's but, not gonna tusk me. No, he might hey, tusk heavy gal. I did. Can I touch you with his nose? Is it the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come here. It's a we'll be back later. half horse, half zebra. Zebra mom, right? Quarter horse dad? Yep. That's wild. 14 on the planet. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet one of the most dangerous men in the world. This is Tim Kennedy, and behind that beautiful smile is a fine-tuned killing machine. Tim, you've had quite the career. It's been spicy. EMT, been spicy. firefighter, yep. cage fighter, UFC, strike force, army, green beret, sniper, active duty master sergeant. That's right. And now he's dedicated a lot of his time to training people how to not die. Man, I don't want people to die. Sucks when people die. No, put the bad dudes in the dirt, Yeah, good guys stay up. Basically what we're doing today is we're at Dan Fleischman's event down in Temecula, and Tim and his team have set up a course where you can learn how to clear essentially a house or a building. That's right. Right? Yeah. So we, we're using handguns right now. It's When you're doing single person CQB, it's one of the, it's a preferred tool. Um, it's a little bit more maneuverable, right. and uh, it definitely does the business of making holes where blood comes out right. again out uh -huh. of the bad guys. Out of the bad guys. Yep. Why are you training? What, what's going on? Why are you teaching this? Yeah, so I mean, it's, if we just take the mission of trying to preserve and protect human life and then empower people to feed the families, so with the preservation of human life, um, sometimes you have to have speed, surprise, and violence of action. If like evil is happening, sometimes it just takes other men that are better at violence. Right. So like, you gotta get good at this. So you wanna make good men better at violence so that they can stop the bad men. That's right. Essentially. Just in the past few months, bad, evil things are happening, yeah. and that evil kept on going mm -hmm. until somebody that was skilled at violence came in and put that dude in the dirt. Yeah. So basically this applies to home invasions, this applies to you know much more robust scenarios, but kind of what you're doing today is getting people's feet wet in how this works, what it looks like, put some stress on them, right? That's right. Uh, that's what these guys do best, obviously in the military and, and their background, what they do, they thrive in chaos, thrive in stress, and they're trying to kind of basically pass that knowledge on to anybody and everybody. That's why you'll see a bunch of different people here today that don't necessarily look like the type of person that would be here learning how to clear a house, but it's good. It's not just good for the tactical component, but it's good mentally, right? That's right. I, I think 
this translates to everything that you do. You know, if you can go take the chaos, the anarchy that happens in a shoe house, yeah. and then you can walk into a boardroom and be able to make a decision while under stress, like dealing with all the external stresses of, of having to make the right decision in that moment when you're just living through hell, you can do that in here, man, you can do it anywhere. Do it anywhere. If Office, this applies. Home, yep. arguments. That's right. So looking at me right now, what's your prediction? How am I gonna do? I think you're gonna die. Okay, all yeah, right, well. I'm gonna get you. But can you teach me to not die after I die? Yeah, yeah, you maybe die one or two times, then you're gonna kill me a couple of times, okay. but. I'm into that. We're gonna learn. So we Tim up. is about to put us through a crash course here. Keep in mind, this is a very abbreviated, consolidated uh, course. So if you see something, you're like, oh, that's not the right way. Well then go ahead and say it, but nobody's listening, right? That's right. Let's do it. Don't cut time. We're, we're just gonna kind of go over this real fast. We have two different real extreme types of room clearing. We have a deliberate clear and we have an emergency clear. A deliberate clear is we can take all the time that we want and go room by room, pine absolutely everything and trying to be the first without taking as little risk as we need to. That's, an, that's a very deliberate and that's when we have all the time in the world. For example, I come home, I find my door door. Did I lock that thing, man? I don't know. My family's gonna be here in 10 minutes, you know? Man, I'll just walk through my house, make sure this is safe before my family gets here. I got time, right? That is totally different than I'm laying in bed, I hear the window shatter, the alarm goes off, and my kids start screaming, right? Or I'm driving home from work, daughter already got beat me home, and she's like, Dad, I heard the back door get kicked in, I'm hiding in your closet, I think I hear people in the house, right? I have zero time from the moment I get in that house till I find my daughter, everything between me and them is gonna die. Two totally different scenarios, both room clearing, but deliberate to emergency, different techniques. The technique on emergency clear is speed, surprise, and violence of action. Speed, surprise, and violence of action. We wanna be fast, we wanna be accurate, and we wanna be violent. Wait, say that one more time. Speed, speed surprise, 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 and violence of action. Okay. On the deliberate, it's angle. On a deliberate clear, it's us pine, room by room, and being really methodical, trying to limit how much we're exposed to any threats. And then everything in between there is that spectrum of, could we be in a, a deliberate clear, and then I hear my daughter scream? You can only move as fast as you can see, yeah. and I can't bypass threats. So if, well, if I'm trying to get to, from point A to point B, but I'm just moving past things that are gonna kill me, yeah. like I'm never actually saving anybody, yeah. I'm just gonna be... Even in the emergency scenario, you're still, sticking to your your line of sight and you ever angles. seen like a, a panther move when it's when it's hunting something mm -hmm. right are they deliberate yeah do they have that like that angst of i'm about to murder something i'm gonna bite your face i'm gonna tear your drug dealer out and i'm gonna watch you bleed out while my, my canines are feeling your last few pulses finally give out right that's kind of the energy that we want as we're moving it's deliberate it's intentional but it's also patient yeah you know, we're, we're being sm slow and smooth. We still want speed, surprise, and violence of action, but not the expense of risking ourselves. Yeah? All right. Um, we'll walk through it one time, and then we're gonna throw a couple of bad guys in the house, and we're gonna both do a deliver. Sick. That was so fast, the ball Bedros just comes off the top rope. He's like, I'm in. Yeah, the bad guys shoot back. Sunglasses or eye protection, and then make sure you get a gun. So if I'm coming in here, I wanna actually move over here to be able to see more of that room so then I can clear this way. And clear as I go, addressing my priorities work as I move through the building. The last thing that you want me to see is an eye and a half a barrel. That's the last thing we want somebody to see, right? So I'm just doing that off every angle that I can. Right now, we have opposing threats. We have a threat here, we have a threat here, and we have a threat here. If it was a four-man cell, we'd have cross coverage. So you'd be pulling this way, I'd be pulling this way. So you gave me a muzzle dip, and I'm gonna clear this as you cover my back that way. So all of these threats would be taken down at the same time. Through the hallway and back out, just one big U. You can go left and then come out, or you can go right and then come out. Anytime that we find a target, we'll engage the target as we go. So there's a deliberate clear. We wanna clear as methodical as we can. You're going. All right, come on back. Woo, buddy. I'm gonna, I'll just demo really fast. Yeah, you gotta we demo. Help, bro. We, we don't know. So again, back to that angle. Ooh, We're doing a deliberate buddy. clear. We're not like walking through our house, you know, and there's like a bad guy, right? <laughs> I'm 
No, we were. That's what we just I'm did. A fucking panther. Okay, so we're escalating now. Yeah, we are. We are. We are hunting. I'm looking in every single corner. I want to see you this way, right? Let's see what's over here. Fucking Brian. Oh, man, I'm, he's got. I'm having a hard time leaving you be, but I'm gonna leave you be. <laughs> right? I also see a dead space. I don't think there's enough room for somebody to hide over there. So the direction I should go is this way, right? Okay. So let me you, bring my so barrel you, back when you over. Clear the dead space. You know at least that there's nobody there. Yeah. You don't have to see every inch. Yeah. Much. Now as I start moving. Cool, I see a target. Yeah, feel, there we go. If all, people aren't doing that, then you don't got the right answer. <laughs> if the dudes in the room aren't going, oh, don't shoot me, then we're doing something wrong. There we go. Yup. Yeah. Keep that gun up in our workspace. There you go, keep going. We're gonna go left, what side of the wall should we be on? That's right, keep going. Beautiful, there's a good switch. Crossover, moving right, so I move left. Over here, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. Did he just do like a whole entire kilo of mid cocaine, or did he just want to kill something? You just don't know, right? Like, I do want to fight right now. Yeah, now I'm erect, but that's what at least I'm not the only one, right? I'm gonna show you immediate clear, and it's a totally different thing. I'm still gonna do the essentially the same principles of movement, but I'm gonna do it with like that really violent intent. You Pedros. That speed surprise violence of action. It's just like, man, we're fucking off the races. And we're looking for something to kill. All right, you're next for deliberate. Come on. Finger out the trigger while we move. Finger out the trigger while we move. Shoot that mother. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Crossover. Excellent work. All right, you're up. Let's start you from that side. Do it. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Danny, come here. We never stop in a doorway. All right. Remember when this door came open? Uh -huh. Oh my. What was I doing while I was shooting that guy? Moving. I was moving. Yeah. Right. Movement is life. Mm -hmm. We never stop in a doorway. We never stop in a hallway, and we never stop in a staircase. Those are three places. In the lines of drift of a house, there are places that people have to pass through, and there are also places that everybody knows people have to move through to get to the next spot. Yeah. So we never, ever, ever stop here, or you're gonna die here. Okay. So that door comes open. Move on. You all right? You got a little twitchy there. <laughs> all right, here we go. Get him! Move! Don't stop. Figure out the trigger while we move. Shot me, buddy. I fucked you up right there. All right. So immediate clear. Instead of that kind of like slow, methodical, looking for every angle, I'm going from point A to point B as fast as I can. Speed, surprise, violence, of action. But I'm using angles as fast I can to find every one of these threats. This is cool. It's. Uh, you're, you're, I mean, you're intense right now. This yeah. is a lot. It's. I'm into it. I'm loving it. This is fucking it's. Cool. I mean, it's. It's a game, right? It's airsoft, but that's one thing that Tim does really well. Is he just just stimulates the environments. There's uh, the two different types of uh, clearing that we're learning right now. Deliberate, and then basically shit hit the fan get in there and get it clear as quick as possible and then we're gonna go head to head so we'll go in there'll be bad guys in there yep this is emergency clear open the door right. we're clearing the whole entire house and then we're gonna boot scoot out of here yep. you just pulled up your ring you're driving home from work alert there's somebody at your front door and you watch your door get kicked in and there's three bad guys that just walked into your house and you think your kid's home from school already all right 
That's the scenario. Feel this. You moved really well. Feel this. Isn't yeah. that wild? You're doing 160 right yes, now. At, right. at least. Hey man, it's your house. Don't kick your own doors in. I just found it. Oh, oh <laughs> got me. Got you. Come all the way out. Um, you're rescue mode. Okay, cool. Find her and get her out. This is your start point and this is your exit point. You need to find her and get out. We're not gonna go past the hallway. For those of you who don't know, this is BJ Baldwin. BJ Baldwin. Best driver in the world and also one of the best marksmen in the world, I think. Thanks, bro. But the uh, he's gonna show us how to do uh, what we're trying to learn how to do. <laughs> the ring camera pops up. You know there's two bad guys. You know your wife is home and she's hiding. She says, I'm hiding in the closet. I need to get out of here. That's it, I'm gonna run up top. No, don't you stay down there. Look, what's the baby with you on? I want to watch it. I know you do. All right, we're on you, boss. I love, once you got to her, how deliberate you were, your energy went from I'm in hunt mode to I'm in protect mode. That's awesome. The sh part about moving and why opposing force shooting is so important, this op four style shooting is because people move. Brian was out in the hallway. He started hurting gunfire. He started moving towards gunfire. Is that gonna happen? Absolutely, it's gonna happen. So as soon as I start going weapons hot, I know I'm in a fight and I should stay in that like, Heads on a swivel, I'm pivoting, I'm turning, because I know everything's coming down on him. We're finding our son who's hiding in a closet, okay. and we think three bad guys got into the house. He sent you a text message that he hears people moving around, three, four, or five guys in the house. I just got my kid. It's not good. Hey, he's murdering his own son. <laughs> I'm dead. You yeah, I shot kid. my kid and then I got killed. It's just an awful, awful scene right there. <laughs> yeah, I felt like a great target. I, just I, think I, I think I missed my own kid at point blank. Too. That's the worst part oh, you about missed it. Him? You get to shoot him when this is over. When your adrenaline is running, it's hard to control. Right? Hey, this is it. Hey, this. You're a stud. Training you look like a man, that's why I shot you. People move. All right, so movement's life. Do you feel that every time that you like slow down, it like hornets descending on you? Yeah. yeah. You know? So you have to keep that initiative. Battle momentum is like a really, it's a real thing. And that energy, that battle of like, these guys are overrunning us. Yeah. We want them to just be in fear. 
of that violence coming into their face. Sick! Appreciate it, man. So guys, if you want to learn more about this, Tim, hey, you run Sheepdog Response, right? That's right. Yep. And you train people this sort of thing, plus a lot more. That's right. right? They yep. can check it out at... Shoot, move, communicate, medicate, sheepdogresponse.com. Sheepdogresponse.com. Yep. Shoot, move, communicate, medicate. That's right. What he just said. Listen, <laughs> if you want to learn more, click the link in the description below. Check them out.